Hello everybody, it's One Night Primaries, and I'm here with more quest for the Ultimate Defender. We are, um, I'm trying to rush the yellow achievements, the yellow trophies, uh, mainly because they are the most annoying and frustrating ones, uh, that I can think of at the moment, uh, yeah, uh, kind of, yes. But yeah, we're doing Skin of Our Teeth. The, it's gonna be really annoying for this one, but insane, Magic Quarters, let's do this. Okay, uh, you guys have mentioned, I, uh, you guys are correct, I only need six, so yep. Only doing the first six maps, so hopefully this all goes well. Um, it might go poorly, who knows. Oop. So I don't know how I'm going to do this this time. Uh, mainly because there's just so many mobs on this one. Uh, like uh, the Magic Quarters, it was really convenient. Oh, almost fell off. Magic Quarters, uh, not Magic Quarters, uh, Foundries and Forges is really convenient because one mob would stray away and then it would just be like really easily to do. But this one, there's multiple mobs and... What do I do? But yeah, we're gonna do the same plan. Harpoon. Harpoon. And then we drop mana, series EV, physical beam, and then shit, wrong one. <laughs> and then, um, there we go. Oh shit, it is. And then we build, oops, not that one. A physical beam. And then we swap out to Joker. Oh, we should do that right now, actually. That's a good idea. Swap to him. Item box. Put on all his old gear. Oops. Back. Get the hero. Swap. Joker. Inbox this. That. That. And that. I am missing my gloves. I am missing my gloves. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah! We're geared up! Ready to go! Oh wow, the damage difference is ridiculous. Snipe! Alright, so again, we just let him chip away at that. We'll be a jerk and we'll just upgrade that, because why not? Because we're all night, all night jerky pants. Oh, night jerky pants. That sounds like a new brand of beef jerky. Um, oh yeah, and uh, question is, why am I not using this? It is the apprentice weapon of Obsidian Glava. It's actually pretty good. Um, the damage is pretty strong. It's really, it's actually really strong, but I don't know why I'm not using it. Why am I not using it? I don't know. I don't, I really, uh, I'm not a mage fan in this game. It's not, the mechanic is cool, but just don't like it. But yeah, I, uh, I have read the request, the biggest, not the biggest, but a big request for me to do something on YouTube, and that is another Dungeon Defenders 2 video. Because um, I know a lot of you guys don't want to go through the forms and read through everything, so yes. How much damage are you doing? Oh wow, you're doing 44 damage now. Wow, you stubby little goblin sucker. You need a shower because your green stuff is floating out of you. <laughs> I didn't, I just realized it looks like they haven't bathed in years. Um, 1016! Um, but yeah. Dungeon Defenders 2 video. Um, sure. Maybe. I don't know if there's enough content for me to do a Dungeon Defenders 2, like, insider video. Um, like, there has been no zero updates from Trendy from the game, so it's still where I'm I'm as much in, in the dark as you guys. I don't have, like, any special treatment from Trendy. Okay. Die, 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 die. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, okay, that was really close. All right, so we'll drop mana, and then harpoon, and then minions, and then, yes, we should be good. But I honestly don't have some sort of special insider look just because I'm doing Dungeon Defenders videos. Like I said, um, only a like a fourth of Trendy probably knows who I am. Uh, and only like I can probably name four four employees, like four people of the Trendy crew that actually knows my real name too. They're not they're much closer to Dark Python than I am, because Dark Python is a form moderator, host, blah blah blah. So Dark Python is much I don't know if he has the inside look either, so don't don't quote me on that either. So it's we really I really don't have any special treatment, guys. So please, 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 
if anything, I make fun of the game more than anything. That's that's I complain about 90% of the stuff they have about this game. Nice. Commands. Hold up defensive. So yeah, like I'm I'm serious. I have zero I have zero I I know nothing more than you know. Yes. I have no no more information than you would already have. So everything on the website and the forums is pretty much if I do make a video, it's gonna be about the new towers or the apprentice towers they showed and um, the video that uh, PM Asher the 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 interview Philip had with the 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 E three girl and the the really awkwardness that Phil had to go through because he was just sitting there and he was really really awkward and nervous and it was really funny I could not stop laughing while I was watching the video because he uh, he's not the he's not an interview guy he's just like the behind the scenes I do everything else guy and so yeah it was really funny but yeah it's gonna be pretty much like about that it's gonna be about trailers and whatnot. And yeah, it's really, there's not much I can talk about for Dungeon Defenders 2. Like I have zero information about it. Um, I'm not in the beta. I'm not in, uh, I'm not, and of course I'm not talking about the MOBA anymore. Um, this is strictly the cooperative tower defense mode that we all want. Um, I could care less about the MOBA. I'm, I'm just being honest. I really have zero interest for the MOBA. Like I dislike all MOBAs right now. Probably uh, DC's, um, whatchamacallit. What is it called again? Oh man, I was just playing it too. I don't remember the name. The new DC MOBA that came out. It's currently in closed beta. That is fun as fucking hell. Like that is probably, I've never had so much fun in a MOBA before. It's just be, playing as Batman and Joker, just destroying everything is just so much fun. It's just so much fun. And um, because I have played, played League of Legends for two and a half years and Dota for four and like World of Warcraft and or not World of Warcraft, but Warcraft and um, so and so and so and forth. It's like I have an unfair, like I have, like I have such an advantage over the players. It's so not. It's just so mean. Like I, I am. I always have at least twenty plus kills because it's a lot of new people who are not interested in MOBAs, who are like not heavy MOBA players. But yeah, it's really, it's really cool. It's, it feels good to be dominating once in a while. So yeah, that's definitely a thing. Let's put buff beams to be overkill. But in all seriousness, um, I've I really could care less about MOBA. So if you guys want me to talk about the Dungeon Defenders 2 MOBA, um, yeah, sure, I'll add something about it. But I really could care less. I'm really interested in the cooperative. Um, I do I do find it funny that people are complaining how they uh, Dungeon Defenders 2 quality is worse and the game is. Because the quality is worse, uh, the art style is worse, the game is going to be then worse. Um, if you guys don't know, they toned down the art style and everything, so people can play Dungeon Defenders on a very low end system. Uh, that's my, that is my opinion, or that's my, that's my thought process of the idea of making the art style so cartoony. Because if you guys did not know, a lot of people cannot play Dungeon Defenders. It is a very, very demanding game. I am not kidding. Um, one of my friends, who I'm no longer going to call a friend because he is a complete and utter douchebag. <laughs> That's right. I'm talking about you, Blue Kool Aid Man Seven. He's he is such an ignorant human being who calls himself a PC gamer. He's uh, but yeah, enough of that. Uh, him and a bunch of other people that I know uh, who calls himself PC gamers say Dungeon Defenders is a shit quality game, and it it's like there's you need zero power to play it. And I said, bull freaking shit. This game is so demanding, you have no idea. Like the particles in this game is almost 100. There's Dead Space 3, new game, tier one game, brand new, super fun, very high detailed, everything. Dungeon Defenders consumes more power from my PC when I play it versus when I play Dead Space 3. So food for thought. Wait, I already have skin of my teeth, what? But yeah, it's that's just straight up. It takes my computer uses less power when I play Dead Space 3, which is a tier one. It is, it is like super fun. The graphic, the style, the art, everything is super crazy, and the game is just super fun. And it's just so realistic and it's so badass. It's not really realistic, but it's really badass. 
and I'm struggling to get 60 frames on Dungeon Defenders while I'm getting at least 390 frames in Dungeon, uh, Dead Space 3. So that's literally, that is the funniest thing in the world and people just assume that Dungeon Defenders is such an easy game and no power needed. I'm like, well, you, sir, don't play real games. So yeah, ranting, oh night primaries is over. But yeah, that's, I'm just trying to say that uh, if they're, if from what I've seen, and from what I've hoped and assumed, uh, the new art style is very less demanding. And uh, so then a lot of people who can't play Dungeon Defenders well on their laptops and computers right now will be able to play Dungeon Defenders 2 very smoothly um, on their computers uh, in the future, which is pretty pretty neat. Um, I've heard that the MOBA right now, you can play it on your tablets and everything, and it's very smooth and it's very easy to, ha uh, very easy to play. And I, I also heard Dungeon Defenders is a first wave or second wave on the Android and iOS. Is it just Android? Um, like the, like it's very slow and very laggy, and it's like very bad. But the, I heard the MOBA is very smooth and very fluid. So that's really good news. That's really really good news. That's actually great news. So that means um, if you have a crap computer, uh, then you should be able to play DD2 very easily. So that's very good news. So um, they're just trying to appeal to everyone who doesn't have a million dollars like you guys, some of you guys who have like GTX, who's doing triple SLI GTX 780s, just rocking those out like no other. Cause I am so jealous at you guys forever. Oh my God, I'm so jealous, I'm so jealous, so jealous. But yeah, enough ranting. Whew. But yeah, that's, that's definitely a thing. <laughs> ah, ranting, very good. But yeah, this is this is a lot easier than it seems, but it's also very nerve-wracking. I feel like a, uh, a wavern might come by and spit a ball and then hit my port crystal. I feel like we have to do like um, what is it called again? What is those called? The uh, when a president's bodyguard, secret service agent, like jumps in front of the uh, president to block the bullet. I feel like we have to do that. Like the wavern shoots the spitball, and then we are just like no. <laughs> That's what I'm picturing right now. So that's why I'm staying closer to my crystal uh, than usual. But yeah, I really want um, BF the BF drill, but I'm too scared to try the uh, volcanic eruption. <sighs> so what do you guys think? Should I uh, should I live stream Fridays and Saturdays? But if I live stream Fridays and Saturdays, that means there will be no videos on Sunday. Dungeon Defender uh, or any videos on YouTube on Sunday. So should I make that risk? Because I can I can make videos for fr Monday through Saturday but I don't know if I can also do it for Sunday as well. So I'm going to, I'm trying to make a schedule right now. Seems we have a lot of time and I just, why not, you know, tell you my schedule. Uh, when I record, from now on when I record, I'm gonna record at least two, two of each of my series. Wow, you're really high up. Two of each of my series. So like two Dungeon Defenders, two Trials, two Cube World in one day. And then I re release one episode of each series every day. And then um, I have to do how do I explain this? So it's, I record, let's just do one series. So I record two episodes of Dungeon Defenders today, then I upload one today, and then I can upload the next episode tomorrow. But, and also for tomorrow, I upload, I mean, I record another two episodes. So I, again, uh, like I'm always have, I always have like backup. I always have like one episode ready to be open to the public. I don't know how to explain this, God damn it. I'm so dead today. It's just my voice is dying. It's not getting any better. It's getting worse by the day. So why not record as much as I can before my voice decides to pass out? So, yep, 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 yep. It sucks. Why are night pine bears always sick? Why, why? If you guys not see my trials video, you see my body and my face. You see how skinny I am. It's a real thing. Oh no, it's a, it's a spitball. No, no. No, no. Oh, see, that was the president thing. We have to take the damage. Can spitballs attack our crystal? I don't think so. No. Oh no, we're not playing um hardcore mode. Okay, good. Oh, I hate maps with lava. I hate it. All right, we finished. Sweet, sweet. All right, this map took a little bit longer. The other one we we did two in one uh two in two in one episode, but this one not 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 happening. Too much skin of our teeth sweet turn to tavern so we got three down uh three to go pretty badass um 
Let's check it out. F. So we need to do... We got Lord on that. Times two? Wow. Banker. Earned the most mana. Never seen that one before. Um, real time strategist. Oh, I've never done on any of these on insane. Maybe that's why. But yeah, it's um. We need to complete one, two. So we did three maps, and then we need three more. So should I do a chemical laboratory? Laboratory, laboratory. It seems like an easy one. Servants quarters, definitely a no. Um, this is way too risky. Actually, I'll chemical lab laboratory, laboratory might be a hard one too. Castle army for sure is a kind of difficult one if you want. Um, hall of court. Oh, that's also a hard one. Throne room. Oh, wow. These are all really hard. What planet here? What? Oh, okay. That's scary. Um, royal gardens actually might be an easy one. Uh, if we focus on the middle crystal, like the crystal right here, and then we can just do all the defense around it, then that'll be pretty easy. So that's one. Um, the ramparts, definitely for sure. We can uh, isolate that one crystal, the two crystals over there. We can I have one crystal be 100 HP and we can isolate those. And then that'll be easy as pie. And then uh, endless spires. Ooh. We can, uh, we can try for that crystal over there. Um, cause that crystal rarely sees any action, but these two crystals might be a pain. So yeah, we might do endless spires and, uh, summit. Definitely not. Cause it's a boss map. Don't want to deal. <laughs> and then, um, glitter helm. Mm, glitter helm might be easy as well. So we have three more maps. Please do recommend what maps shall we do? But anyways, guys, it's only Primer. Thanks for watching. I apologize for my voice and it's very crackly and all like, uh, monotone, monotone. But yeah, we're getting close to finishing Skin of Our Teeth, which is pretty nice. Um, after we do that, we're going to do Transcendent Survivalist. In the meanwhile, I'm going to be constantly farming at Aquanos Nightmare Hardcore Survival. Um, so we can farm gear and become strong and I can record better stuff. And yes, the final, the final, final stuff we're doing, like the final, absolute final, is everything on this map. And of course, if you guys have Volcanic Eruption builds, I'm still accepting everything. Throw me your bills. I love you a long time. Zone Nightmare. Until the next episode, I don't think there will be because my voice is gonna die. <laughs> to be continued. Single out one mob to attack the crystal, rather having like 15 mobs trying to destroy the crystal at once. Cause you never know. All hell can go loose. So yeah, that's a thing. Hello, Demon Lord. I have not seen you in a very long time, my friend. Skaboosh, skaboosh. Sink, you shaving your beard in front of me? Well, I kill you instead. Holy 